Next presentation is the Intelligent Power Distribution System. I'd like to start by introducing the members of our team. Um, my name is Tracy and I'm in charge of hardware. Luke is our team leader and he's the brain designer and designer. Maria is also in charge of hardware and Vaughn is our software. Um, we're here today to tell you about how you can uh, make any of your devices in your home free. Um, there are plenty of devices out on the market today that have power saving capabilities. But instead of purchasing all new devices for your home, imagine if you could control power usage to any of your current devices simply with a power strip. Well, we are developing that power strip, and we call it IPDS, Intelligent Power Distribution System. We're developing a system that um, at one end is the power strip and plugs into your wall outlet and communicates over power lines to a central base station. And it will consist of a filter, so it can provide cleaner energy. But our system is going to save the user more money and energy than your traditional clean power system. And this is because our design is going to have motion detectors and current sensors to be able to decide when it wants to shut off power to any device that is plugged into the power strip. Um, Um, but the real beauty of our device is that the user decides what devices it actually wants to control. So, for instance, um, if there's no motion in the room and um, everyone's gone off to work, our device will actually sense whether or not uh, there are people in the room and it will shut all devices off that are plugged into that power strip. Um, also, if uh, anyone leaves their phone charger plugged into the wall for hours um, or all day, <laughs> Um, our device will be able to learn when that device is in use and when it's not in use and shut it off uh, when it's appropriate. Um, uh, another example is, uh, let's say your refrigerator, we can all agree that we would never want our refrigerator to turn off. So um, in that case, you would simply plug your refrigerator into the wall outlet and you would never have to worry about um, any interference from our devices turning the refrigerator off. So how much um, money and energy are we looking at saving? Well, our goal is to uh, reduce the kilowatt hour usage by a minimum of 5%. So if the average homeowner uses 1,000 kilowatts per month, and uh, the average rate is, say, 10 cents a kilowatt hour, we're looking at saving the user $5 a month or $6 a year. And in terms of energy, um, the average home, we're looking at saving 50 kilowatt hours per month. And with over a half a million homes in the city of Dallas, we are hoping to save a minimum of 300 gigawatt hours per year in the city of Dallas alone. So with numbers like that, uh, imagine what kind of energy we could be saving across the country, across the state, across the country, and around the world. So as you can see, our device is not only going to save the individual homeowner money, but it's also going to help to contribute to a green way of life that we all strive for today. Thank you, and I will open it up for questions. Have we talked to any of the utility companies to see? We have not yet. We plan on doing that in senior design too, and getting some more research on the customer base. What's your power efficiency for your device, and does it uh, induce any noise? Um, I believe we have encountered some noise. I'll turn it over to my colleague Lou to answer that question. Well, apparently the system uses a Cypress PLC uh, implements power line communication. So what we plan on doing on the um, plug strip end is putting in a noise filter. So that will get rid of noise. Efficiency-wise, when the system is in Iowa, it uses about 200 and milliwatts. Uh, that's just an idle condition for all the plug strips. Um, and the power supply I've selected right now has an efficiency of about 77% uh, for just the flux strip. So. Other questions? Yes, sir. Well, what you do when whenever you finish can if somebody were to come back to access, what do you expect the cost will be? And how much of it would you use that customer installation or a building installation? We, uh, it's a kind of a tough question to answer right now, but 
we are um, hoping that we can keep the cost. Uh, we're thinking maybe we'd make a, a starter bundle where you would get the central control unit and maybe three power strips to um, provide your home. If we, uh, we're hoping to probably set that for around two hundred dollars to be profitable. Now I know that sounds like a lot now, and um, the percentage that I gave you for uh, power saving is low, but. Um, the beauty, of, the good thing about our design is our uh, chip is reprogrammable. We can add new firmware, um, put new features on, to save even more energy, which in turn will save more money for the user and make it more cost efficient. I would have signed up for the lobbyist to get a tax break. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> One more question. Um, how do you interact with the system? Um, we haven't gotten that far yet, but our plan is that at the central base station, um, the user will be able to input um, parameters uh, such as what they're plugging into the strips and things like that. So certain things you can not turn off, like the volume pod and reset the clock. Well, yeah, if, if anything that you don't want to control, if you just plug it into a wall, we're going to be able to make it as nice and you don't ever have to worry about it. Thank you very much.